Okay, Cancer, let's do a read for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You and your person. Let's call in the higher self of Cancer, ancestors, spirit guides for a clear guided message. Whatever message Cancer needs to hear for them and their person. So glad you're here, Cancer. If you'd like a personal read, my information is down below in the description box. Let's get a message for Cancer and their person. Spirit, what you want to give us? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Pay attention to the red flags. Signs are cautioning you. All right, Cancer. What else do we have for you? This one wants to show up. True love. Oh, wow. That one to show up twice. <laughs> Romantic feelings. This is a romance of the lifetime. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Signs are cautioning you. Positive thinking. Huh. I mean, right off the bat, Cancer, I'm just sort of getting who, who or whatever you're manifesting is very, very... Um, like, in a way, sometimes, like, a true love or a divine relationship is, like, you know, a direct mirror. You know, like the twin flame dynamic or, you know, um, catalyzing relationships to help you grow, to help you see yourself. It's almost like if you do have red flags, if you're looking for them, if you're looking for the negativity, if it's something from your past that you're needing to re-experience, to transmute and let go of, I kind of see that going on. And if there's a teacher relationship here in front of you or a spirit wants to show you that that which you resist persists, that which what like, you know, if you're trying to resist and, and not run into something that's a red flag, like a person with character defects, flaws or, or you know, an energy that will hurt you. Right. And so you're looking for it because you don't want to find it. But in a sense, you're resisting that which is right or that which is arising like a fear so you're looking for the fear it will persist it will show itself and so these cards are just saying stay optimistic don't create the fear don't create that story so that you do not manifest again that story but it looks like what's coming towards you or there is a divine love underneath what's going on with you cancer that is showing you the love that you already are or showing you how do i want to say this you know it's kind of like self-fulfilling prophecies if you're you know you become what you create right or the world because the canvas of the world becomes a part of what you expect it to be all right i'm gonna leave it at that let me know if that resonates. <laughs> All right, what's going on? How do you feel about this person or this person coming in that you don't know about yet? Either way, how do you feel? Okay, we're getting the, the Knight of Pentacles kind of sideways. You're not quite, okay. Whoever we're talking about here, Cancer, you're not quite sure what to make of it. Like, should you move forward? Is this something that you want to build? Is this something that you want to kind of stay away from? Is this something worth building? Like you really are paying attention to the red flags. According to the rest of the cards, it's looking good so far, but let's see. Okay, this person has a tower moment. So either they feel like things are falling apart between you and them, or... So interesting. I'm going to keep going here because that's, I'm kind of getting that this person, you're, you're reluctant to move ahead with them, but whatever the, you're learning to be optimistic and to learn true love. And so this person is, if they're mirroring out what you're manifesting, so to speak, or learning the fear in which you might have towards this person or maybe there's an expectation of fear when it comes to relationships, it's crumbling down. It's falling apart. Like this person doesn't, if this person manifested fear, if this person embodied fear in any kind of way or trickery or red flags, they're crumbling down. 
For some of you, if you're in a relationship with this person, things are falling apart that were built on a faulty foundation. Any any things that were um, hurtful or fearful are... are uh, it's almost like these cards are saying, stay true to spirit and have faith. Because we're working on you. I don't know. This is what I'm getting cancer. It's weird. Scorpio energy in here. Got, um, Earth. We've got the sun. This person sees you as their happiness, as their light, their inspiration. Um, for some, th this person, you make this person very happy, Cancer. Um, very happy. Okay, they feel like you're not, they're not sure if you if you have feelings for them or if you're willing to communicate with them or if you're willing to move towards them. It's like you're not sure if you want to build with this person and this person wants to, I don't know, I feel like this person really loves you. You make them really happy and I feel like they're willing to leave that which they created to build again with you, okay? That might resonate with some, some of you. Or they just know that they can't embody fear because you're looking out for it. You're like, no, 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 I don't wanna have a relationship that's not built on love, not built on a solid foundation, not built on fear. Not built on lies, not built on false masks, you know? And so they're like, okay, I'll crumble it down. I'll jump ship. I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of what I've built that doesn't, you know, resonate with hap with the, it's almost like they can't get away with the sun shining right on them, shining on all the shadows, all the cracks. So they're like, fine. I feel like they feel like you're holding back from communicating with them right now. They certainly feel like, they don't feel like you're pursuing them, okay? You secretly don't, the magician, you secretly don't. You got a lot of doubts with this person. I, for some of you, you feel like they're tricking you, that they're hiding things. Um, well, I mean, this is, huh. They don't, like, you don't want them to know that maybe you don't want to manifest them. At the same time, you don't want to be single. All right, this is getting weird, Cancer. This is like, the story's getting a little strange. Okay, this wanted to come out kind of sideways, but, huh. Well, for someone who is your true love, they're not putting the work in. They're not really able to work with you. But if I look over at your side, you don't really want to manifest them. But there's some kind of energy that you have that's like, well... I don't know, I think I have to start. What I'm getting, and this is making you look kind of funny, is you don't want to work on it, but you don't want to be alone. And things are falling apart. Um, you're not communicating, you're not working on it. They're not working on it. And there's just a lack of, t like, of collaboration or teamwork between the two of you. As a matter of fact, it's so odd the way it's coming out in comparison to the cards above. It's almost like cancer. If this was your true love, you're blindsided. You can't see it. It's almost like 
whether there's a person involved or not, I feel like the cards are saying you can't manifest true love. Like even if this person, you know, thinks the world of you, if you keep thinking that they don't have what it takes to like make you happy, if you keep looking for, I feel like this person's not, I, I feel like you're expecting them. Um, maybe they didn't put the work in, right? Maybe this person didn't put the work in or you've had histories of people that don't put the work in and they don't, they're not team players. And so everything that you build together with this person, with this person or people in the past, they crumble down, it falls down. There's not good communication between the two of you. You know, for some of you, you might even stop communicating with them. You know, there's no collaboration. There's no compromise. There's no teamwork. You know, compromise in the sense where it's like both of your ideas are put on the table and heard, at least. Do you know what I'm saying? And honored. Um, compromise, like s simple things, not like enslavement compromising, but just, you know. Putting, you know, when you put each other first, you, you know, you put them first, then um, they're satisfied, the love expands and grows. They put you first, that, that that's a satisfaction and the love expands and grows and it tends to work. I mean, it's the same as you guys putting yourselves first, but when you're in a relationship, you give to the relationship and you feed that third entity. And none of that stuff's going on right now. Um, there's just this energy, Cancer, of maybe you used to being alone, but not wanting to be alone. You know, not quite. You're just not quite sure if you want to build with at least this person. But I'm kind of getting, you don't have a trust that you can build with someone in general right now. I don't know. What, what does this person want to say to you, Cancer? I feel like they want you to be uh, optimistic. It says intense connection. This is a deep connection, triggers may arise. All right, that's, and it's karmic. So for some of you, you might be in a karmic um, situation where this person showing you your fears and, and they're manifesting, okay? And so what magnetizes you to this person or them to you is basically to help um, bring up wounds and heal wounds. And underneath that all is true love. Um, honestly, I feel like this is teaching you that that what you expect to happen will happen, honestly. And there's, you're really looking for the red flags. I feel like for some of you, you guys need to heal some of the wounding of like other relationships, maybe even with your parents in the past where they did not put in the work, they did not listen to you. There was a lot of fear in the energy around that relationship. There might've been competition and a lack of effort to maintain the relationship in the way you would expect it to. Um, and then there's an expectation for this kind of patterning in relationship to happen again. So this does feel karmic. It could be a twin flame connection as well because of intense connection. There's a deep connection which arises a lot of triggers. And when the triggers arise, Cancer, you're out of there. Like you're like, I don't even want to manifest this. I don't want to build this. And this person feels the same way. They're mirroring it back. Even though deep down inside, you are their son. You make them happy. You are their inspiration. What do you want to say? I need more. Yeah, you need more. But I almost feel like at this point, like whether you've been in this relationship, it's not you, it's me. There's some inner work that needs to be done. That's, that's getting honest with yourself, Cancer. Maybe you're starting to realize like, shit, I'm manifesting this. I'm trying to heal this idea that this isn't working. I need more. This, this dynamic isn't working anymore. And it's as if what do you want? Cancer, what do you want? You want happiness. You want happiness, yet the sun's coming. You want happiness, you want fairness, you want justice. That's fair, Cancer. And you want to feel secure, it's safe. So there's like a little bit of that stuck energy.
So the sun in reverse can sometimes be like the narcissism as well. Which throws this off. Um, you know, it's like there's a lot of kind of narcissistic energies. There's a very strong illusion of separation going on in this relationship dynamic, which I feel like you've been doing over and over again with this particular person or with other pers people in the past. And maybe it's redolescent of your childhood relationships with, you know, your caregivers. It's maybe like this person or other people you've attracted in the past maybe had some narcissistic tendencies and you're actually um, expecting them and therefore um, creating a sense of like, I don't really need this, but I don't really want to be alone. So it's almost like there's like a push and pull going on within you. I want to move forward yet. I don't know. This person might be manipulating me. This person might be manipulating me like the last person, you know? And it's kind of strange because it's like, if you feel for sure that someone's manipulating you, why would you be in a relationship with them? If you can't have open and honest communication and you're afraid that this person that you quote unquote love is manipulating you, you have to ask yourself why you're in this relationship. It's hard to let go. It's something you're used to. There might be materialistic reasons. There might be a fear of being alone. It's definitely karmic to reveal these kind of patterns. But if you're in that situation where you're like, yeah, I want this, but I don't know if I should grow this because this might hurt me, or I don't really want to be alone, but I maybe don't really want to manifest with this person. Maybe, you know, and it's sort of like, are they manipulating me? And, and what within you, maybe are you doing some of those things as well? Because this isn't collaboration with this person. And if you're not collaborating with this person, why are you in, why are you growing a relationship with this person in the first place? This person I feel like is pretty triggered by you as well, but doesn't feel comfortable moving forward with you. And they're totally, um, at this point, they feel like things are crumbling down that you guys have built together, whether it's been for over a long period of time or short. Um, you want happiness, you want connection, you want to clear this karma and you want to clear this attachment to this kind of patterning and energy. Sorry, this got so like kind of crazy deep. So, so I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, cancer, good times. So what else do we want to ask? What is this person? Um, why? decide what I want to ask. What does this person hope for? You cancer. What does this person hope for? Clarity. This person wants things to be clear. They feel like right now things are not clear. Um, <laughs> there's not equal give and take. Okay. Cancer, you manifested kind of a funny person here. Okay, they want to heal the lack of clarity. They want to heal the lack of reciprocity. They want to come together. They see you as their empress and their lover. I was going to go a different direction, which is really interesting because it changed. One more card, Spirit Guides. What does Cancer need to know about this person? Yeah, that's what I thought. This is a weird reading. You're manifesting empress energy. This person does see you as an empress. This person does see you as their lover, their true love. They really, really do. It's as if this person doesn't know how to love you. It's as if you don't know how to pick them. No one's wrong here. You're sort of manifesting this interesting situation where you're not getting a person who's clear minded. This person has their heart guarded as well. You have your heart guarded too. This person doesn't give equally, but you might not be giving either because the Knight of Pentacles came out in reverse. There's like love here, but there's like 
not a lot of optimism. There's a lot of fear. It needs to collapse. It is collapsing. You know this isn't working. You know this has to, to, to fall apart. But I'm just sort of getting this... This energy of this person's... I'm just not really willing to work on this with you. Um, still, they're really challenged. Their heart, they don't, they don't work in the heart space. Um, they just don't, not right now. As a matter of fact, there's not a lot of love between you two, like in, in some ways. Let's see, this could be a soulmate from the past. Um, see, this, this is healing. Okay, for some of you, you guys are going to move on to a soulmate. You're going to heal from this. Uh, but for a lot of you, this could be the same person where this energy gets transmuted. Because these there's serious lessons here going on, Cancer. And for others of you, you're going to change the energy that you're projecting out. So you're gonna move into your heart space, you're gonna heal your heart, you're gonna allow your heart to shine, and you're gonna move guided by your heart. And when you're moving by your heart and not your mind, like truly your heart, this energy can't hurt you. As a matter of fact, this energy is a mind pattern, a mental construct taught to you by your family or other relationships you've had in the past or maybe karmic from past lives or ancestral lines, right? I actually think you are transmuting this energy. As crazy as it looks like there's such a resistance for you guys to come together, I do feel like you are going to invite this energy or this person or the next person coming in with love. This is helping you see your, res you don't want to be alone. And this is helping you see your resistance and your projections of looking for what it is you don't want and then manifesting it. I feel like you're going to be moving out of your mind <laughs> in a good way and shine and move into this like childlike innocence and that faith and trust and love. And you're going to move in a balanced way towards either this energy or a new energy. I mean, you might even come at this energy with this energy and shift this energy around. What happens when Cancer actually moves towards this person with this energy? Got the Hermit in reverse withdrawal. <laughs> They come out of hermit mode, possibly. You scare the shit out of... Oh, this is interesting. Um, hopelessness, boredom, and uninspired. Okay. Um, and what if... <laughs> what does cancer create with another person with this energy? Okay, you start to create equal give and take balance, seeing the truth, getting out of an analysis. Um, yeah, more generosity. You experience more generosity. You manifest more generosity. You, you, you manifest equal give and take. Okay, this is about... <coughs> okay. There is heartbreaker energy, selfish energy of what you expect in a relationship. You're learning this. You don't want to repeat. You don't want to overanalyze. You kind of let go of like right and wrong or good or bad and just trying to see the truth of your situation. But I do feel like you're going to become very generous with your heart and let this shit go because it's really not serving you. What a weird spread. What's going on? What's your energy? Yeah, so this is a little bit of your training. 
and a little bit of you stepping up away from an old pattern of looking for red flags and moving into a place of optimism, okay? And true love, true love, unconditional love. <coughs> I think this, that this person and you have a very strong magnetic attraction and it's still in this process of showing you that what you don't want, okay? I think that this reading is calling you to change your focus and really try something new. Okay, so it's like, if this is making you sad, look away from it. Okay, this is your training. It's time to step up and step away from this patterning. Move it into unconditional love and allow new vitality, new inspiration to come into your world. Okay, so we're moving out of distorted, um, you know, poor leading and we're moving into success. Again, I'm still getting this energy of like, Not to be, it's just, just, it's just transmuting distorted leadership. It's transmuting where material success and being the most successful <coughs> is the most important. I have no idea why I'm going on a sneezing fit. If you can maybe explain that energetically, that would be interesting. Um... I have been having quite a winter with my health. Um, yeah, water. It's like moving into divine flow, moving out of the, the rat race of needing to be on top, needing to protect yourself. I mean, it's good to protect yourself. I mean, I'm sure there's like a, a ton of predators, but it's kind of like the teaching of like, I'm so sorry, you guys. It's kind of the teaching of like, fear begets fear, right? You know, that which you resist persists. Like, you're trying to avoid this energy, but you keep manifesting it. You look for it. This is something that you can send love to. I love you. Forgive them, Lord, but they do not know what they're doing. You know, it's just sort of like forgiving the illusion of separation, forgiving those that live in the, in the character of illusion of separation and calling in true love, collaboration. You need more than this dynamic, you know? So moving in this like emotional sensitivity and emotional um, availability and divine um, flow. You know, so that's what I see for you, Cancer. What do we read? Um, glad to be back doing these and I'm sending you much love.